Today, Dave is going to show you how to mud and tape the basement finishing system. Okay, so the first step in our uh, mudding and taping of an inside corner is to uh, mix up a tray of the, uh, Dur of the uh, Durabond. And uh, I'm using a 20 minute set because I like it to go fast. We'll see, I may regret that because it does go pretty fast. And the first thing I do is just apply a thin layer to each side of the corners. Most of this, once I set the tape, I'm gonna sort of wipe it off. Because all I really wanna do is set the tape in, in this mud. So I'm just kind of lightly knocking this down a little bit. Take off some of the excess. You might be able to see, but I'm, I'm kind of tipping my knife into the corner so that I'm not really scraping it off the adjacent wall. After we get this tape set, from that point, we'll really just work on one side of the corner at a time. Let it dry, and then we'll do the other side. You'll see how that works in a second. So I'm just gonna set that into the, the mud. And I'm kind of scraping off about all the mud. I'm kind of being careful with this tape not to cut it with the corner of my, of, with my knife right now. So I'm just scraping off almost all excess. So as we've said elsewhere, this Durabon is available in a 20 minute set a 45, a 60, and a 90 minute set. I would start with the 90. I'm kind of used to it, so I start, I, I'm working with the 20 here. Uh, we're gonna let that set, and in about 20 minutes to a half hour, it'll be ready to go. Right now, I'm gonna wash this out because you can't let it harden in the bucket. Now that we have our tape set into the setting compound, we're gonna follow this up with another coat of the setting compound. And what I'm gonna do is basically work on just one half of the joint at a time and get it nice and smooth and finished off and then I'm gonna leave, leave it alone. And the reason I'm gonna do that is because it's just really hard to work into a soft joint. If I, if I went at this side after this side was uh, initially applied, it's gonna be soft. I'd probably just cause a lot, a lot of damage more than anything. So we'll do one side at a time, keep it under control. Okay, so we've mixed up another batch of the Durabond joint setting compound, and we're gonna apply that to the other side of the joint. So the application of this Durabond doesn't have to be perfect in the sense of everything being smooth and perfect and, and uh, you know, 
finished looking. This, the purpose of this is to set the tape and to provide strength and rigidity in the joint. So if you were to be up close here, you'd see all kinds of little flaws and blemishes. I'm not worried about that because I'll cover that with the easy sanding topping compound. But what I have done is, is set the tape in a solid uh, you know, set of mud and uh, that's just gonna provide all the strength we need. Okay, so at this point we have our tape embedded in our joint compound. We've got both corners done and they're curing right now. The nice thing about this 20 minute set is it's curing right now. So as soon as it's hard enough that you can, you know, not squish your finger into it, we can move on to the topping compound coats and uh, keep the job moving forward. So what I'm doing right now is just uh, stirring up the plus three. This is kind of helpful for eliminating bubbles and just uh, getting it to a nice consistency. And it's even helpful to add just a little bit of water to it. So I've got my Wahoo Walls water adding cup here. And we'll just stir in just a little bit of water. There's no, no specific recipe, just add a little bit. Now generally, if you have a big drill, this will work a little bit better. Too much of this will wear a screw gun right out. And again, we'll just proceed as we did before, except this time we're gonna to need to let these coats dry probably overnight before we can uh, go to the other half of the corner. So we'll put it on this half and we're gonna now float this out farther away from the joint. Now imperfections at this point, we don't need to be concerned about them at all because this stuff sands so easily that it's really not gonna cause you any trouble. So that's one half of the joint and we will come back tomorrow after this is dry and uh, do the other side. Okay, so to recap the steps for the corner joint, First thing we're gonna do is set our corner tape into the, the hard setting Durabond joint compound. Uh, once that's cured, we're gonna apply a second coat of compound over the first coat and let that set up. And then we can move right into the easy sanding coat of plus three or something similar to that. Give that 24 hours. Remember, we're gonna do one half of the joint at a time. Then after that's cured, we'll come back and do the other half of the joint. We'll do that twice for two coatings and then you can sand that corner with a simple drywall sponge and you'll be set. Thank you for joining us today on Wahoo with Dave. Be sure to like us on Facebook, share this video, and check out our latest photos on Instagram. Questions or comments or ideas, tweet us at wahoowalls1 and your idea might make the next video.